In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept and topic of determinants. We know how to evaluate determinants of different orders and in this video we have a different question. It has evaluation of determinants also and proof also associated in the same question itself. Let's see what the question has to say and now we'll be getting started with the solution. So the question is evaluate the determinant which I said to you that yes the question involves evaluation of a determinant. It is involving trigonometric constants here, constants also, trigonometric function also, sin theta also and 1 also and you also have to prove that del, del is what? It is del here that means determinant value lies between 2 and 4, 2 and 4 are both included. So how to do? Let's see. I just write the heading as solution and we start with the solution. I know we have to evaluate this determinant. Now there are 6 available options given to me that you know already from my previous videos that evaluate by any 3 rows or evaluate by any one of the 3 columns. So let's start with the standard one that is starting with the first row. So I write expanding along the first row, expanding along the row 1 or the first row which is known as R1. I have what it is 1, it is sin theta, it is 1. Now 1 is something which when multiplied with any other thing does not change anything. So let us write 1 first of all and then because the criteria says that whatever element you take, I am taking here 1, whatever element you take, you just eliminate the column and the row associated with that element. And then you write what sub determinant is left. What is left? 1 sin theta minus sin theta 1. We saw in the previous videos. So the sub determinant that is left is what? It is 1 sin theta minus sin theta and 1. Right? Now move to the second element. Second element is sin theta. And the sin theta is which kind of element? It is something called as first row second column. A12. Now that A12 means 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 is odd, so here it should be minus sign. We know the formula minus 1 to the power i plus j, so minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 which is minus 1 to the power 3 which is negative 1. So it is minus sign theta. All of you which are watching my previous videos must know how to do this, right? Again you have a sub determinant. Now what is that sub determinant? Minus sin theta means eliminate the second column and the first row what is left? It is minus sin theta sin theta. Write it as it is. Minus sin theta sin theta. And what next is there? Minus 1 and 1. So it is minus 1 and 1. Next is what? It is plus 1. Why plus? Because one thing that we go alternate. So it is plus minus plus. The other way is minus 1 to the power i plus j which is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3, right? So it is plus 1, so I write here plus 1 and again I have a sub determinant. Now sub determinant means eliminate the third column and the first row what is left minus sin theta and 1. So I write minus sin theta and 1 and below is what? Minus 1 minus sin theta, minus 1 minus sin theta. And do not go about proving this side by side. First evaluate, then go to the second part of the question. Very simple, follow the simple trick. Simple trick of cross multiplication in all the three cases. So cross multiplying in all the three cases and doing the solution. So we have 1 into 1 which is 1. So it becomes 1. And then minus of the formula, you know that. And sin theta into sin theta is sin square theta. It has come out to be minus, outside is minus, so it becomes plus sin square theta. Next, moving forward, copy minus sin theta. Inside is what? Inside is minus sin theta into 1, which is minus sin theta, minus of the formula. And now, what is minus 1 into sin theta? It is again minus sin theta. Now, minus sin theta and here is minus, so it becomes plus sin theta. Now next is what? It is plus 1. So it becomes plus 1. And now you have minus sin theta into minus sin theta which is plus sin square theta. So you write sin square theta and 
minus of the formula and minus 1 into 1 which is minus 1. So minus of the formula and minus 1 makes it plus 1. See now what can be cancelled, what can be obtained. It is 1 plus sine square theta, nothing can be done. Outside was what? Outside was 1. 1 multiplied by anything does not change anything, right? Here is minus sine theta plus sine theta. These both cancel each other, so it becomes 0. 0 multiplied by something is 0 only. Next move, it is 1 into something, which means that same thing, 1 plus sine square theta again. So, what is my solution now up to? It is 1 plus 1, which is 2, sine square theta plus sine square theta, which is 2 sine square theta. So, what I get is 2 plus 2 sine square theta. So, the answer of evaluation is given to me as 2 plus 2 sine square theta after the whole solution. But what we needed to show again, we needed to show that this value of del which you have got as 2 plus 2 sine square theta lies between 2 and 4. Now it involves something called as sine square theta and you know the value of sine theta lies between minus 1 and 1. So that proof is actually dependent upon sine theta's domain. How? Let's see. I know that minus 1 to 1 is where sine theta lies. Now since I already know this as a fact in trigonometry, I will be using this. If sine theta lies between minus 1 and 1, sine square theta lies between what? Now square means always positive. Always positive means it will never be minus 1. It will always start with 0 only. Minimum should be what? 0. And maximum will be 1 only. You know that sine theta means minus 1 to 1. Negative will not come and hence square values will be between 0 and 1. Now if sine square theta is such, we need 2 sine square theta. So multiply everything by 2. So multiplying everything by 2 or the other thing can be done is add with 2. It's your wish. When you multiply by 2, what happens? 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into sine square theta is 2 sine square theta. 2 into 1 is 2. So we have obtained till here. That means 2 sine square theta will lie between 0 and 2. But we were not supposed to find out only 2 sine square theta but 2 plus 2 sine square theta, right? So you have to add 2 also. So next step is what? You add 2. When you add 2 what happens? 2 plus 0 is 2. Then 2 plus 2 sine square theta is 2 plus 2 sine square theta only. And 2 plus 2 is 4. Now what is 2 plus 2 sine square theta? It is this. And what was this? It was the value of determinant. So I know that 2 and 4 are the boundary regions for del. And what is del? It is the value of determinant which is 2 plus 2 sine square theta. And that was what we needed to prove. So in this video, we saw a proof question which had evaluation also based on the topic of determinants.